out here at the Home Goods in Bedford, Massachusetts with a very, uh, I don't know, still energetic Pedro Martinez signed for three and a half hours, 442 people. How are you feeling? How's the hand? How's everything going? On well, the hand, it's, it's really good. I, I feel really extremely happy to, to be able to do that for, uh, for the people here and for the kids specifically. Uh, it's a great cause and, and I'm extremely happy to be part of it. And tell us about your foundation. It's not because one of these toys stays locally with the Dana Farber, but one of them goes to what you're doing down in the Dominican Republic. Well, like I said, it's all about the kids. Uh, um, uh, we have a lot of kids over there in need and, and kids that would like to have a gift uh, now during Christmas. And we're, we're, we're trying to help out the, uh, the best way we can. So this is, this is all part of just helping out the community and helping, out, uh, as helping some kids uh, uh, have a smile this, this winter. As for baseball related, Red Sox related, how much attention did you pay to what the Red Sox did down the stretch and specifically to how that season ended? Uh, yeah, I did pay attention and, and uh, I was a little disappointed because I wanted to see my Red Sox go and, 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 and put up a battle, but uh, things didn't happen. I think the team needs to get healthy. Uh, the starting rotation was a little bit uh, hurt and uh, towards the end. And, and also uh, the team didn't seem to be quite you know, 100% focus, and that was the that was one main thing that I noticed from the team. The team wasn't focused enough to 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 go and do the things that they needed to do. One of your really good friends, David Ortiz, right now taking care of his business down in the Dominican Republic. That's where Bobby Valentine is. How important is it in your mind for the Red Sox to keep Ortiz in Boston? I think that right now, after the season, the disappointment that that everybody got. Uh, it's obvious that they need to do something positive and, and David will be probably the biggest piece that they can bring along to keep that, that real good team that they have uh, going forward. I think uh, Adrian Gonzalez and David uh, make a, a one-two punch real good and, and they already know what to do. I know that they can hit all year and, and they know what to do. David knows it, every trick. and. Uh, I'm pretty sure that, that if they get healthy and they keep that, that starting rotation healthy, David is going to be probably the biggest uh, uh, attraction for, for this winner. And they just need to keep him here. As for that starting rotation, pitchers and catchers in about 80 days, if they needed a fifth starter, could you ramp it up and dial it up for one more season? This is the only, the only time I'm going to say no to that, to that game. But I... Uh, 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 you know, I, I, I'm, I'm extremely happy the way, with the way I'm leaving and, and the way everything is going, but I, I just don't think I'm going to do it anymore. Can I ask uh, how you think the clubhouse might change from Terry Francona to Bobby Valentine? Uh, I don't think it's going to change much. The, 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 you know, Terry was a, a, a very quiet person, you know, into his own, wasn't, wasn't very outspoken. Bobby is going to be probably a little bit more outspoken, but, but at the same time, it's a, he's an experienced manager. And I think he's, uh, he's going to know that he's going to be handling major league, play major league players like he always has. And, and he's going to give them the respect they need. And, and I'm pretty sure the players will do the same thing. All right. Future member of the 2014 class of the Baseball Hall of Fame doing a lot of good out here in Bedford. We appreciate the time. Thank you very much. No problem. All right.